the teen years, a time when we start to figure out who we are apart from our family, who our friends will be and how to get along with them. It's all about relationship building, but that's hard to do in the middle of a global pandemic. So many people talk about what it's been like for teens during this time. I wanted to speak directly to them. Life has been extremely stressful for me considering both of my parents are uh, essential workers. And every day my mom comes home with complaints about how somebody at her work was very rude to her. How does that make you feel? Very stressed, very stressed. Parents, you need to know that according to a recent CDC survey, there's been a staggering increase in the number of young people suffering from anxiety and depression during this pandemic. 11% of respondents say they have seriously considered suicide. For 18 to 24 year olds, that number was one in four, more than twice as high. Even being completely honest, like I have felt not very great during this whole time. Like, it's been really hard to keep positive. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being candid and being transparent because I can bet you that there are so many people who will watch this and who will say, that's me too. So I'm gonna ask if you wouldn't mind going even deeper with what you've been experiencing because I just believe that it's gonna help somebody. I guess I just feel kind of hopeless like there's just so much happening in the world right now and there's there's not a whole lot I can do to like fix anything it feels like I'm just really small and it's it's really stressful you know and then when you feel that lack of hope have you had other thoughts that have scared you I mean I guess so it's it's been no, I mean, yeah. Talk to me, it's okay. Like, just thinking about like, if it's ever gonna get better from here, like if this will ever get fixed, if this is just gonna be the future forever. In addition to all of the stress they're feeling about the uncertainty in their own lives because of the pandemic, these teens tell me they're also worried about their friends. A while back, actually, one of my friends, I was talking to her one night and she just stopped responding to texts at all and then the next morning I get a call from her and she apparently chugged a bottle of melatonin and it was shocking it was a hard night yeah what's going on inside right now as you even recall that it's just the nerves of what if they're dead It's, it's hard to see someone go through that. It's a lot for teens to process on top of grieving missed events and activities, learning virtually, and spending more time at home with their families than usual. With quarantine and online schooling, you're there with them. And um, you can't really escape or leave. Like you could go outside or you could go in a different room, but like they're still there and you might still be able to hear them and you might still have to interact with them. And that just adds on to frustration for weeks, for like days, weeks or months even until you just feel like you're going to explode. It just kind of compacts itself and everyone is just adding on to each other's stress. And it's a very hard thing to cope with because like you're in your room, you're trying to de-stress, but then your parents are yelling in the other room and you can hear it through the walls. Yeah. And it's just, it's so, it just feels loud, yeah. if you get what I mean at all. Yeah. So, where do we go? Like, what's the solution? So the thing is, solution is relative, right? So we can't completely determine the solution when it comes to the pandemic or you know learning virtually or what the adults in our life are doing but what's your solution how do you get yourself through this moment in time with your sanity i i go for a walk a lot or i'll just listen to music or something anything i can do to kind of take my mind off of everything that's happening. 
Um, my escape from COVID-19 right now is kind of just theater. It, it has always been my escape. It's my happy place. I love that. I love that. How about for you? Um, honestly, this might sound kind of crazy, but I just talk to myself and talk myself through it, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, out loud or rather in my head, whatever works. That doesn't sound crazy to me at all. It sounds very healthy to me because when we keep things pent up, they come out one way or the other. And sometimes things can come out of us in a way that we had not planned, and it can lead to a result that we're not ready to handle. It's not been easy, but they're figuring it out. Even passing along this advice to other teens who may be struggling during this pandemic. Be safe, be smart, be your own best advocate. You have a voice and you have a platform. You can speak up about anything you're feeling on Instagram, whether it's activism due to quarantine, just anything. You can speak to your parents, your friends, your family. Just know that you're not alone.